Yeah, it is a very disturbing case. As you said, police sources say that three-year-old Bella Edwards did show signs of extensive abuse, including sex abuse. Police officers say when they arrived here at her apartment building last night, they noticed severe bruising on her body. Right now, police are still questioning her mother, stepfather, and grandmother, but so far, there have been no arrests. It's painful to imagine how someone could take the life of Bella Edwards, an adorable three-year-old with an infectious smile. Police have been questioning her mother, stepfather, and grandmother at the 100th Precinct Station House in the Rockaways, where other relatives are grieving and vowing to get answers. Bella was a beautiful soul, vibrant. That's how everybody remember her. That's how y'all gonna remember her. We gonna make sure that y'all remember her. We gonna remember her. We gonna get justice. Know that. Bella's stepfather called 911 around 6 o'clock Monday night. Police say he had been alone with the child at their Seaside Queens apartment for about eight hours. Officers arrived to find the stepfather performing CPR, but Bella was unresponsive. She was pronounced dead at the hospital. Today, her mother, Shamika Gonzalez, posted on Facebook, Bella, I'm so sorry I wasn't there to protect you. This feels like a bad dream I can't wake up from. Neighbors like Doris King can't believe the sweet little girl next door is gone. Shocking, very shocking. It looked like a little girl that was always well taken care of and dressed nicely. The Administration for Children's Services says the family has no history with ACS. Sources say Bella had extensive bruising on her body and showed signs of sex abuse. Her stepfather told officers it may have been from him performing CPR. The medical examiner is still trying to determine how she died. It's sad. Like, no child should have to go through something like that. That's, that's, and that's crazy that it's so close to home. This is not over. It's not going to end today. It's not going to end no time soon until we know what happened. And Bella Edwards' little brother also lived with her here at this apartment building. That baby is now in the custody of ACS. We're live in Seaside, Queens tonight. Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News.